That reminds me, I might be running a little low on whiskey. I'm gonna have to send a bumbo. I mean, for crying out loud, you have you have a, a chemist on board. Alright, give me some, some whiskey. Okay, I'll distill you some fucking whiskey. <laughs> Take what's in my hip flask Roll and start synthesizing. Roll an alchemy test to synthesize whiskey. There. Whilst all this is going on, can I just wander the city? Is there a craft DC for whiskey? No. Please, time in a barrel. Yeah, that's a good point. DC of five. Pigeon. See, Pathfinder crafting out. Yes, there are crafting rules for alcohol. Hooray! Right. So you need to succeed in the initial brewing, and then it takes time to um ferment. To ferment. Are you gonna put oh, right. a fucking barrel in my wagon? Uh, yes. Well, you've already failed because whiskey requires a craft DC of twenty-five. Shh, he doesn't Ow. know that. Ow. He doesn't know Stop that. that. Stop it. What the hell was that noise? That Painful. really hurt. I don't know what that was. It sounded like a tears. <laughs> right. Well. Suffice to say, you now have a barrel of theoretical whiskey maturing okay. in the back of the car. That's good <laughs> enough. I, I mean, you don't know how successful it. Levy was. <laughs> and it's going to take a... You're going to need to leave it in there for at least a week, Levy. I mean, that's fine. I'm not going to be drinking it. And incidentally, the back of the wagon now literally smells like a whiskey distillery. Fun. I mean, the, it really shouldn't, because... In order for it to age, it should be a relatively well-plugged barrel, and the distillery is going to happen somewhere else. Okay, so you didn't do it while the party was on the road, then? No. Okay, Literally, just because he, he went, make me some whiskey. I did. It's a small little cask, and it's just done. Okay, so that's maturing in the back. So are you guys ready for the day trip to uh, Fortune's Landing? Uh, I am going to be spending a little bit of money to just pick up some rations. Just yeah, to same. Okay. I'm going to get another four good meals. Unless the I prices don't have for any rations money. are the usual ones as stated on the equipment wiki, I'm usual stuff. I find it. I have no sellable skills. Same. Oh, that? that reminds me, you two were spending this overnight stop trying to learn the local written language, weren't you? Yes. yes. Yeah. Linguistics checks from both of you, please. Ow. Oof. Oh. One and oh. twenty-one. Okay. So Rowan really struggles and doesn't really get far. But with Taylor's help, the two of you together are at the very least able to decipher a one-to-one -one alphabet. Yay! Oh, cool. So you haven't worked out anything like sentence structure yet or grammar, but you've got a basic you got like, the cipher. Out. Yes. You I... know which symbols co correspond to which vocal noises. Mm -hmm. I, ha I now have it written down in the back of my spellbook. So in order to learn this, it, was there something I can buy, like a book, like a dictionary or something? That's what I'm working on making. I'm trying to find how much food is. I mean, no it's one's like made a, a, a common to Kiran Yaga dictionary yet. No, I assume that wouldn't exist, like I say, like, like Ryan says, she's working on it. Yeah. There are booksellers in the city markets. What I'm looking for is like a simple book, perhaps for children, like stories oh, yeah. that I oh, can yeah. use. You could absolutely find children's books. That like a mean. how to read Kiran Yagen for kids. <laughs> C spot run. Yeah. Essentially, the C spot okay, wrong. Okay, to try and find what you're wanting, let me have a look at the skill. Which skill is this going to be? I think, yeah, let's make this appraisal. Appraise the books at the market to find one that fits your needs. 12. That's a 12. Okay, you do indeed find a book that you are roughly able to translate the cover of with the help of the seller, who you can communicate re reasonably well verbally with now as this is a book that is used to teach children how to write and read. Out of character hint, take me with you. I know I praise. I know that shit. <laughs> okay. But yeah, he, he'll give you the book for one amber piece. Sold. Congratulations, you may now add a Kieran Yagen children's learn to read book to your inventory. Thank you. At uh, some point, can I use these, this primer they've made to sort of communicate with the snake, or does he not speak Kieran Yagen common? Because I just want to, you know, be able to talk back to him. Just to clarify the situation, 
He understands Kieran Yark and Common and now understands Basic, but he is verbally mute. I thought you would have noticed by the fact that he's never said a word. It's like, maybe so it's the fact that he can't he, talk. He can write the native language, but he's been communicating to you guys mostly with pictures. Well, that's what I mean then. So we'll yeah. be able to, will he be able to learn this using this book as well? He already knows it. Okay. Like, cool. if you want him to, he can write full sentences in the native language. Yeah, that's what I mean. I want to learn the native language so I can talk to him. Yep, that, you can start doing that with him. Drag, cool. drag yeah. whiskey? So I'll just spend some time <laughs> um, <laughs> reading the book with um, Rowan and Araya, sort yeah. of teaching them what I know. Would that make it easier for them? Would that like speed up their process to get to, yeah. the, to get where I am? Yeah, can I get a linguistics check from everyone taking part in the language lesson? And Why? incidentally, because Snek understands the language and is trying to help with the lesson as well, you can all add plus two to your linguistics roles to Ketz's assistance. Yeah, in 18. That's a 24. Nice. I'm just going to put them in my skill ranks. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Go for it. Okay, so you all do pretty well on this. Between the assistance from Ketz, the book, and your own learning, You've got a very basic understanding, but you now understand how the sentence structure of this language works as well. Yeah. So nine times out of ten, you can certainly read anything that's written on a no public notice board. You've now got a pretty decent under chance of understanding. Yay. I write down oh, grammar cool. rules at the back of my spellbook as well. So I had down um, basic Kirin Yagen in my languages. Do I need to upgrade that at all, or is it still basic? Yeah, you now can, you speak not fluent, oh, what's the word, what's the one between basic and fluent? Conversational. Yeah, there we are. You now speak and read conversational, Kieran Yagen. Because what, you got like GCSE, then basic, conversational, fluent. Or GCSE is somewhere in there. And the others, the other two are conversational in terms of reading written, Kieran Yagen, but you're currently the only one who speaks it, mm. unless you're going to take the time to impart your knowledge to the others. I feel like we focus on one and then the other. Like I would be saying it out loud as I'm teaching it, so okay. they can pick up what they can from that. But I'm not like I'm only going to be speaking what they're reading. So you're not going to take the time to fully transpose the language. I will do, but not on not this right like, day's journey. That's I mean, it's taken me weeks so far to learn it. So yeah. I don't know, but yeah, I can start to if that's what you know. If that's if I, if I want, that's fine. I mean, I was just putting it out there as an option for you and the rest of the party to consider. Yeah, I'm not against teaching them, if that's what you're asking. Yeah. Okay, so it's another uneventful journey to uh, Fortune's Landing. If everyone can just consume another unit of rations, unless anyone's choosing to go hungry. How much for rations in amber pieces? Uh, trail rations are mm -hmm. five silver pieces. So, five silver. Uh, if you bought... Ten of them, that will be two amber pieces. Okay, I'll do that then. No, wait, uh, no, sorry. Um, if you bought two of them, that's, it's one amber piece per. Sorry, I'm completely fucking this up. Try not to fuck it up. <laughs> two gold pieces per one amber piece. So how much for ten trail rations in amber? Around half of what it would be in gold. And how much is it in gold? I don't have the, I don't have the page up. Uh, basically one half gold piece for a ration, a regular trail ration. However, if you want one of the specialty rations, it's going to be 2 GP per, so one amber piece. Now, normal's fun. I'll just take... So how much would be 10 trail rations then? If it's 50... If it's 5 yeah. silver pieces, then that is... Uh, 4 rations will equal 1 amber piece. If it's 2 gold per 1 amber. That is the case, yes. Alright. And it's four trail rations for one amber piece. Aren't exchange rates fun? <laughs> yes. So twelve would be three amber pieces. Correct. Okay, I'll do that then. Right, everyone's restocked on food. And your return to Fortune's Landing, things have been not too bad, because you've been gone for a good solid week. There is actually something for you here, Aiden. Oh, yeah. Which is serendipitous timing, really. <laughs> so I don't know if you remember, but there was Reginald Seaguard here. Oh, yeah. The last Seaguards. 
he's sent a message to the tavern when you guys arrive that he's left with Jorvik that is he wants to speak to you at his house at the next time you return to town. Okay. Bit of a difference though this time. You immediately notice two things approaching the outside of Fortune's Landing. Because at the end of last session I said that you just kind of rolled into town. Not exactly. Now there's the fence and a gate. I mean there was already there was always a stockade because well there was a stockade but this time the gates are closed. So we're not welcome. Okay, let's fuck off elsewhere. <laughs> Ding dong. <laughs> well, fortunes, London. I made it, despite your directions. <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. Ah, the circus collie. Prepared for an unforgettable luncheon. <laughs> but yeah, there's a couple of men guarding the gates, and they are not wearing the uniform of General Crest's men. Did whoever was originally ordered to come down here eventually arrive? Maybe. These men certainly don't look oh. happy being in leather and half plate in this heat, but they're on guard anyway. And they seem to be staring at you with what I can only call disinterest. Well, that's fun. Hail, legates! What's cracking? <laughs> we got a new one now. <laughs> I'm just imagining you poking out of the uh, wagon and saying that. <laughs> True to Kaiser. So, yeah, one of them does walk forward and just says, Ah, you must be the, uh, the, uh, the... Diplomat. Sure are. Ah. The Super Thunder Circus. Woo! Yes, we are the Pathfinders. Well, it is my honour to welcome you to New Sea Guard. Did um, we did we take a wrong turn, guys? <laughs> Come on, can you check the map? <laughs> Donde esta? Fortune's Landing. Oh no no no, that's what. No, we're not running under that name. The orders of the new Doge, you see. Oh, that fucker. <laughs> no, in fact, his lordship has decided that in absence of any other authority in this country, he has declared himself Doge of this land and all others that come under his sway. No. Oh, dear. And as such, entering his territory will now require a minor fee for crossing the borders. Oh, well, shit, none of us have any gold. Well, okay, okay, we're leaving. Okay. Yeah, I, I, guess we'll, I guess we'll just take our vital information to the survival of this uh, this conclave and fuck off, shall we, guys? Yeah, well. So where was that good old warlord that was ready to ransack this whole place? Who, who's up for, for butchering and debauchery? That was the commitment camp. I, I do like a bit of butchery and debauchery. Because I'm ready to just put these fuckers in the ground. Why are we doing that? Who are these I mean, guys? Somebody in the city guard. Yes, and we're the ones who worked our ass off to make sure that they are not dead on the spot right now. Simple transaction, one silver piece per homelander and one gold piece per native wishing to enter the town. Well, that's stupid prices. Okay, let's go. He looks over and counts. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, and we've got six common landers and two natives, I'm guessing. No. Oh, oh, that's problematic of him. How dare also, you, sir? I'm neither native nor common lander. Where, what, what do None I do? None of us are natives or common landers. Sounds to me like you really rushed this one out, guys. I mean, he indicates... How stable is this power, exactly? <laughs> I mean, I'm not. Snake and Rowan and just says, neither of those look like they came from home. There we go. You with a face like that, son. Look, it's not my problem. Pay the gate fee or stay outside. It's no business of mine. And then we'll take our vital information elsewhere. What vital Wait a minute. information? Let me, uh... Oh, well, I mean, if you want to know what this vital information is, you're going to have to pay us a fee of um, <laughs> one gold piece per every person in this settlement. <laughs> Think of it as an investment towards saving your miserable lives. <laughs> what about a platform? He's doing his job, guys. Customer um, service is hard uh, work. Excuse me, but I feel like this is perhaps going over my head a bit. Do you mind if I go and fetch the captain? Go uh, for I it. think he better should. I don't want to speak to your manager! <laughs> Fuck it, yes, sir. Not <laughs> actually, because I'm in touch with you. Angus, just keep an eye on them, will you? I got a coupon. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's still can I just like, you know, flash my house sigil? Maybe that'll get us some sway. No, we're going to do it this way. Right. We don't need to go in if they can come to us. They sent for us. 
<laughs> we'll, we'll have the captain come outside and then force him to pay a toll and go back in. <laughs> sure. <laughs> It doesn't take long before quite a narrow-faced man with an eye patch steps forward, who you would actually recognise to a certain extent, Aiden, because the time oh. you went up to Seaguard's mansion to negotiate for the release of Cobra, this man did at least appear to be a member of his house guards. Seems like he's been promoted. Well, if it isn't the Travellers. Morin, what exactly do you think you were doing? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. Can you not see that these are what these are warriors loyal to the Doge himself? That one there, if I'm not mistaken, is the last sign of the Amber Forts. A sort of smug twirl of my moustache at that. The Doge has specifically yeah. requested to see him, and therefore you and Angus are going to let him in right now, and I'm going to escort them to the palace. Ooh. Understood? Yes, sir. Uh, Captain, what now? Captain, customer service. I demand you fire these two guards for the inconvenience. Yes, out of the cannon into the ocean, please. <laughs> that would be the Doge's militia is rather short-handed, and we can't afford to lose men over something like this. I hope you. I'm sorry, palace militia. I've got a lot of changes to make on my map here. You've been gone a while, and I'm sure the Doge himself will be prepared to explain any differences. It's been like two weeks, my dude. Oh, it's been a lot more than two weeks. It's been probably like over a fortnight. Shh, we don't have a watch. We don't know. I <laughs> we can see the sail of the sun go up and down. The day star has passed multiple times. <laughs> so, it's uh, nice. yeah, <laughs> you're letting sons. through the gates, but um, Snake's getting some old looks. Well, they can fuck off. Respect the Snake. If it, dis if it distresses him, I'll take him outside. Okay, so I don't need to be it here. It doesn't take you long to get into the village centre to realise that things have changed a fair bit since you were last in Fortune's Landing. Well, there. For one thing, there is no sign of General Crest's mercenary company or their banners anywhere in the town. So it was taken over. What you do the see is tar. more men in the plate armour and boiled leather, but you do see that suddenly the Sea Guard crest has been plastered on a lot of things. Oh, good. I love what you've done with the place. <clears throat> I don't. No. This uh, is a my collar. It doesn't take long before there's the captain takes you round about to the middle of the town where there's a very familiar man, at least to you, Aiden, riding down on a horse. His robes <clears throat> are cons considerably more ostentatious than the last time you met him. But he also, even from here, all of you can smell the overpowering scent of wine coming off of him. Oh, <coughs> uh, okay. Is he turned into Robert Baratheon or something? Gonna have wine stank. He's got like an aura of wine stank. <laughs> and he just, ah! Hayden, Hayden Amberforth. I have a question. Why is he large? So you can see the artwork better. Okay. Also, <laughs> so he's not actually 12 feet tall? No, no. no. How much did you drink, son? Fuck it, why are you drinking, boy? Ah, uh, oh, so 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 changed, my friends, my loyal pathfinders. Yeah, he's drunk with his ass. So, I suspect you're wondering how greatness has been thrust upon me. Thrust? Actually, yes. My ears um, perk up at the word thrust, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> that traitor crest and those bloody lions. Bloody, bloody lions. I told them that I had a war for them to fight. Do you know what that bitch said? Do you know what that so-called queen bitch said? She said that her, uh, my wars had nothing to do with her people. As if they've got anything better to do. They probably do have better to I do. I mean, she's not wrong. The no uh, natives, am I right? This, yes, exactly, Aiden. These <laughs> natives have nothing. This is this land is barren. I could have given them so much more. They could have seen a real land <laughs> with real cities. But no, no, they say that taking back my city from some upstart gladiator 
It's none of their business. I can understand why it would be none of their business. They have other things to do. And you know, then, their own civilization. And then General Crest comes to me, and he's telling me all this nonsense about how now the siege is lifted. I need to give his men back pay. <laughs> and so I point out that he wasn't just saving our lives. He was saving his own life. We don't owe him a penny for keeping himself alive. And so he went off with the lions. They they brought a big old chest of rocks and money and whatever they use around here, glittery orange stuff. And he told them that if they paid him, he would take his men and teach them to fight with the guns they just bought. Can you believe it? Yeah. We can't believe it. We yeah. arranged it. Lads, I'm booking the first ferry back. This is fucking crazy. Guys, just want to say, even by my standards, this guy's a bit of a dick. <laughs> Rowan, are you are you actually moving all the way over there? I have gone to sit yeah. by the fence. Okay, I'm I'm just gonna move over to that area as well, if yeah. that's okay. Let's the gaps Did he say something like... about them buying guns? I'm I'm just gonna. You know, He's um, bitching about uh, our diplomacy. Come up behind Aiden and just kind of. How, how, how do I whisper? <laughs> I um I just want to like whisper to Rowan. Maybe alter the map in case they request it from you. <laughs> make, make, if, if you if you can stealthily make a duplicate. Um. What would I need to roll to do that? Not really. I mean, you're a cartographer. You need to roll to make it look convincing, but it shouldn't be too hard just to make a different copy. Right. Know, like a rough one with everything important moved. Yes. That's yeah. fine, that's fine. These guys think that you're fucking stupid for some reason. Don't worry about it. It can, it can look terrible. You'll be fine. I have made a duplicate map. I would like to speak to you in private, one noble to another. Sure, can... Of course, I assume I can bring my manservant along. Of course, of course. And yeah. your... Um, he waves a hand at Rowan and says, your ogre? Excuse me! I'm How dare you! Sorry, sir, but I don't quite know what you are. Well, nothing. She, she ain't. No, 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 no. Oh, my dear. Not the race. How dare you! <laughs> ah, it's not important. Aiden vouches for his servants, therefore I need no, no more else. Come I'm to my mansion. I will prepare I'm... wine. <laughs> I'm yeah. staying out here. Snake can stay with me. Let's fuck shit up out here. But do it subtly. So, uh... God, he's such a knob. Is this how I sound to you guys? Yes! Yeah. <laughs> no, you it's are okay. much more articulate. Yeah, this is pretty much how you sound. To the manor, the guards are dispersing, and you guys are pretty much free to be around the town now. Okay, tell me what's different about the town. Yeah. I need to put it on my map. Um, the layout hasn't really changed, but... Well, there's like... a fucking palace now. I mean, it's called the palace, but it's the same old rickety manor that had been built right from the start. And there's just a signpost pointing to it that now just says the Doge's palace. This is Doge this time. Is it, it, sorry, sorry, go on, go on. Is the Doge aware that he's a meme? <laughs> <laughs> I was actually going to say, does, have they spelt Doge correctly or is it just dog, the dog's palace? <laughs> we open the doors, there's a Pomeranian on a pillow. Wow. <laughs> What's the town officially called now? Uh, they've declared it New Sea Guard, or at least he has. His opinions don't matter to me. I'm still calling it Fortune's Landing. I mean, by the time we're done, they'll be called it Ground Zero. <laughs> You're damn fucking right. I really don't remember any of this. Why is this guy bad? I don't, I don't get it. It doesn't matter if we're going to bomb him. <laughs> He's not bad as such. So, way back in the very first session, this guy was pretty much the only nobleman of consequence from your home continent residing in this colony at the time. Oh, and right. And his mercenaries are gone, he's sort of assumed control. Yeah, I got all this sort of the bit that's happened obviously just now in that conversation, but I didn't have any context. I didn't know who he was. Yeah, no, I remember now. Thank you. Yeah, he's the, guy... the one who you had to negotiate with to get Cobra out. Right? Is this the guy we went, everybody's dead, Every everyone's dead? Yes. Oh, the sea guard! Oh, God. Yes. The sea guard? Yeah, this yeah, is after yeah, the oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Windsor and two other guys. I don't remember their names anymore. One of them is now a doge. Oh. This, this is previously... You mean Anton Fowler? No shenanigans and blew the entire town up. 
<laughs> yeah, we were a little chaotic. Yeah, looking back at Corley's notes from the very first session, drank a lord under the table, turns out we need to get him some sort of lion army to retake his homeland, and it changed the army he'll give to the interpreter. This is that guy. That's gotcha. really stopped yeah. drinking, as far as you can tell. Mm-hmm. The perils of, of uh, an added gentry. 